to self-referential. All right, let's see. So I need to figure out one safe spot. All right. So remember this happens and this is here. B equals one is allowed. I gotta just start um, saying like oh, something to mind, see what happens from that. Okay. Um Well, I mean, I guess let's just continue. Let's say this as well, then this is gone. Now um Yeah, I don't know. What about this? And then okay. This D now has two, but like um hmm. Do I have any idea like what is going on here? No, I don't think I do. Um Okay, well let's just start with this, because this does a lot of stuff, and then I can like narrow down possibilities of like what is allowed and what isn't. D can't be zero, right? That's not a thing, right? And D, where's D? Here it is, yeah. So that's a mine. And G is either one or four now, and it has three spaces left, so if any one of these are, then all of them are, but I don't think, yeah, no. Oh, oh what about something like this? You would kill all of that, then D would be five, right? Because the C can only have two. And then, and then, this D needs five, but only one can fit here. Oh. Yeah, because it can't have one, because this will be another one, because of this C needing another one. And so that's a contradiction. Oh, so it was that easy. What a joke. All right. Okay, got two new pieces of information. The C right here, which needs two, so there you go. Good job. And this E, which, okay. There's now an E on the board, which means all of this is here. It can't have two, because this is not a mine. So it needs to have one or three. So either both of these are or neither of them are, which means, oh, and since A can't be two, A ha or A can't be one, A has to be either three or four. So, ooh, and this C can only have two next to it. So that means it has to have one outside the range of that. And also it's gonna cover that, so that's gone. And now, A also needs to be three, and that means A needs to be four as well. And E is three, because this E has three. And now, this C says that those two are gone, so this C says those are there, right? Cool. A lot of things happening. Uh, D equals three is marked, but there will be a fourth one, so this needs to be its fifth, so that's gone. And now, um, yeah, because this will have to have five around it, which it will. Okay. Uh, D can be one. Oh, it can't be two. And since... Oh, okay, never mind. But G has one right here, right? I guess it's allowed to have one. Like, you could have just none of these be it and that be a mine. And then, like... Okay. Right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What about, what about this, though? No, 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 it can't be that. Well, I know it has to be possible, right? Because, yeah, it would kill all this. This D would have to have one next to it. The G now has two, so it would have to have four. So it would just be like that, all right? That's, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, so I did most of the work on this last time, I guess. The main thing was just I had to crack that or something. Or maybe it was here. Yeah. And I'm kind of surprised I didn't see that before, but whatever. Coming out with fresh eyes, I guess. Makes it easier to figure out what's going on. Okay. Uh. Oh, it doesn't tell me how many mines are total. Yeah, okay. So anyway, we are looking at safe spots. So it's possible that all of them are mines, right? All right, so if that ain't it, then that's a mine. Um, hmm. Okay, so the question is, like, what about this? That'll kill that. D has one, it can't have two, so this is now gone. G has one, it can't have any more, so do this, right? Okay, so that seems fine.
because there are no Fs on the board, so like I don't get any information from which of these are mines because there's no Fs, right? Yeah. But G, okay. So does this cause problems? It would definitely kill that and this. And since this has two now, it needs four, so it would do this, right? Oh, but G equals four is not marked, so it can't actually do that. So there we go. This is the problem. Got him. Okay, this is an E now. E, what do I know about E? It can be one or three. It has one next to it already, but it'll have to have one more because it's D, right? Yeah, it'll have to have one more because of the D. And that one more will be here. But then this G has two mines, so it needs to have four next to it, so both of these are in. That kills that, that forces that there, that kills that. And now we've got them. All right. Okay, E is, oh, it can't be zero, so it has to be one. Very nice, all right. This F, okay, it's allowed to do any of that. This D already has one. Oh, and it can't have one, so it has two now. And this, okay, cool. Um, G is only one or two, okay. F could be four or five, but there also has to be one of it by being either one or two because of this here. This A, A is a zero, one, two are all possibilities. Um, but not three though, but not three though. And this D only has three spaces. D could be two or zero or three, okay. Uh, this B has four spaces and B can be <laughs> zero, one, two, three, or four. I don't know, hmm. Okay. Um, this B already has one, so it needs a one, two, or three. But like, okay, whatever. Again, F, this one has two currently. This C has two currently, and C can't be two, so it would have to be three. Could it be six? Could this have six around it? How would I... No, there's not even any way to, like, force that result from a single assumption. The C isn't, doesn't really border much other stuff, so actually it wouldn't even be helpful to do that. But the point is this needs at least one more mine on it. But like it doesn't really share any space with anything else, so that doesn't help. Uh what does this D say? D is zero two oh three is a possibility. Okay, so if I assume this, right, that means this D has three, so D equals three needs to be marked. And now this B has two on it. Okay. Oh, so it has to have B equals three be the thing that's marked and then everything else is gone. Because it sh shares the B column. So like one of these has to be marked to be the number of mines around this B. And so, yeah, okay. This F only has three left, but F equals, th or wait, yeah, okay. But this C now needs six mines because it can't be three or two. So C would just have to be six always. Hmm. Okay. It's an interesting situation to be in, I suppose. Now this A, okay. So this C needs six. Wait, this D has one, so it needs another one or both of these, but this B has one and B, oh, it can't be zero, so B has to be three for this. So this B has to be, it has to have three next to it, which means like some of these are marked, but all right, I don't know which ones. Um, what about this A? Okay, it has one right now, okay. This one has two right now. It can't have three, but it can't have four. Eh. This F, F equals two, is Hmm. I think this is about the end of the road. Oh, what about this G? No, it's just only allowed to have one more. That's all it is. Um, at most one more, that is. But if A is not equal to four, then we have... Oh, one of these has to be the case. 
Only one of them can be. And in fact, because this a has 2, one of them has to be. So if a is equal to 2, then g would have 2. So g equals 2 would have to be pressed. So this a cannot have two minds around it. This cannot be the only two minds on that a, because that would force this here. So in particular, that means this has to have four minds, and a equals four has to be a thing. This is now out. So a cannot be two. Uh, so that means this a can't be two or three. So these are both gone. And so this means a equals one. Now this d, it can't have, okay, it has to have two, so this has to be a mine. This B already has, okay. Um, this C now has five around it, which is fine, but all right. So that is a consistent system. Otherwise, I don't think this really gives me anything at all, is the problem. Because now this D has two around it, so the D equals two, like that's already marked, so whatever. Um, although, since this B already has one, this B has to have at least two. So one of these two squares will be marked, because this b will have either two or three around it. And so one of these two squares has to be marked. So this g has one square already on it, or one mine already on it. And if it needs to have one more, OK. Um, but that's, yeah, no, I can't really do anything with that yet, can I? This A has one, that A has one. Oh, there is an E on the board, but it's already done. Wait, this F? Oh, hold up. In my other scenario, this F would have one next to it, so F equals one would have to be marked. That puts six on this C, which would make the E equal three not marked. But yeah, that doesn't matter. Okay. Just a little bit more information than I could get from that. So F is either one or two. So one of these two has to be. And so that means, ooh. Yeah. Wait, why did I have to mark? Oh, because the A, yeah. Oh, and if f can't be 3, then these have to either be both or neither. And if f can't be 2 either, then it would force... Okay, so let's just open up this. Then this would happen. Now this b has 2, so it would have to have a third there, and these would be gone. And d can't be 3, which is fine. But this d... Okay, it's allowed to be 0. But this c... Oh, it can't be 3 now. Uh, but it can't be 6 either, so that's actually a contradiction. Okay. This. Uh, all right. Now, that puts a second one on the A. But if A is equal to 2, then you'd need this marked, and the G would have 2, and then that would happen. But that would put 3 on the A. Wait, hold on. So hold on. If this is not it, then this would happen. But I already know, since this b has 1, if the b equals 1 is marked, that would actually put 2 on this b, forcing the b equals 2 to be marked, which would force the b equals 3 to also be marked. <laughs> Alternatively, you could just have the b equals 2 would be marked, and then these would be fine. But that would put a second one on the g, which would force the g equals 2. I think that's just a contradiction. So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes. Wow. Crazy. What? 
Oh, I never had that marked. Um, rip? Okay. Uh, jeez. Okay. These two. This and that. And this was gone. And that was gone. And I think this is gone too because that was a mine. And this was a mine. And that's gone. And um, these two are gone because the B is three. And now the F was... Um, this A forced... Yeah. Okay. And this... Um, C is six because it has six. And then... Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Oh, wow, that just cracked immediately as soon as I got... That's weird. <laughs> um, okay. I guess that is probably pretty common. Okay, this time I only have two off the bat. Yeah, with that, the starting clue had, like, eight, 18 things I could deduce or something, which is way a lot. And I just happened to, like find the pivotal square that did the whole thing. Alright, um... Okay, D cannot be exactly 1. Um... So if this is a mine, then that also has to be a mine. I guess we're just assuming that. Like, if this is a mine, then that's a mine too. And now D equals 2 is marked, and now... Okay, so... D cannot be three or four. This has, okay. So this, exactly one of these three is a mine. And four the more exactly one of those three is a mine. Four the more exactly one of those two is a mine. And, well, okay. Now. What about F? Oh, F is just completely open. A is mostly open. B is the one that has a lot of restrictions, I guess. It can have either two or three. It has one right now, so one of these three has to be a mine, but one of these three also has to be a mine. But I guess you could have two of these three as well. So hypothetically, if this is a mine, this D would say neither of those can be without forcing this, thereby killing those. Ah, but if these are both gone, then this B won't be equal to two. So that's actually impossible. So this is now not a mine in these circumstances, which means one of these two is, which means, well, hypothetically, if this one is, then this is, oh yeah, yeah, that works, that works. Then these are both gone, because this D would kill that, this D, okay. Um, now C cannot be four, but this C, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. C, this already has two, but it can't be two. And it can't be four because that's gone. Okay, that's a contradiction again. So this now can't be a mine, which means B has to be equal to three, and so this is also a mine. C is four now. So this C, yeah, because it can't be one, two, or three. So it needs one more among these two, or two more among those two, actually, because that would allow C to be five. Uh, but this D already has two around it. This D already has two around it. This D has two. This D has nothing. The A has one, so one of these is going to have to be marked. Or, well, actually, this A could have five, and then theoretically none of them, and then, like, both of these are, which would be kind of weird, but I guess it's allowed. Um, okay, so this is just kind of what happens, right? Okay. I think. I don't know. If there's anything more to that or not, like if this isn't a mine, then neither is that. Now D has to be equal to zero for in this case. So you could have both of these if you want, and I guess let's just open up a green assumption with that. Okay. Uh, so now this D has two, so that's marked. This D now has two, and it can't have three or four, so these are out. This B needs a third mine because you can't have two. This puts the two mines there. Now this D, okay, um, everything seems to be in order. Indeed, although this C needs four, doesn't it? Because it can't have one, but it has one right here. So it's just dead. So actually that's a contradiction, which means this is gone. And now this D also needs to have zero, so that's gone as well. And now 
this B cannot have, okay, it could potentially be zero. Let's just say this is marked, thereby forcing both the D and the B. Okay, so what would happen is this. Now this D has two, so that's gone as well. Um, okay, so that just kind of does that, which like, all right, let's just erase some stuff. We do already know this at least though. Okay. So hypothetically, let's say that's not it. Now that means these Ds just have to be zero. Let's just complete zeros. This B is zero. Oh, rip. Uh, yeah, wait, might not be rip. In fact, it will do this. Okay. Uh, but that still makes this square safe, so got it. Okay, uh, I don't really have much on here, so I'll just erase everything. All right, time to think again. That's the only new info I get? That that's a B? I also got that that square is not like available, so A can't have three next to it, I guess, is something else that I got. Okay, so this B and that B. This B has four spaces. And this B has five spaces. B can be equal to neither four nor five. And obviously this B can't be zero because if this had zero mines next to it, then the B equals zero would have to be marked, thereby making this, um, yeah. <laughs> thereby making this not have zero mines next to it. Furthermore, since B cannot be equal to one, this B has to have at least two mines next to it. So either this B equals two is marked or this B has three mines next to it and this B equals three is marked. So let's just say this isn't marked. Then the B would have to be three because I know this one can't be zero and that means this one also has to have three. So now we're in this situation. This D has two, this D has two can't have any more. Uh, this D already has one, so that one has to be mine, and then that would have to be mine as well. And C would be equal to four, so that's fine, okay. And in fact, all right. Now, this D needs two mines, this B needs two more. So, hmm. Now, I think this is all I get. That's five mines and three empty spaces, isn't it? <laughs> no way. I find this hard to believe. Okay. Let's say that ain't it. Uh, yeah, no, that's not allowed. Okay, this has to be a mine in that case. Because um, this D has one next to it already. So the only option that it has available is for it to have two mines next to it. And that means this happens. And that means this is gone, and that kills all of these. But now C cannot be zero, and C also cannot be four, but this C only has four spaces next to it, so it's a contradiction. Indeed, that is what happened. Well, what do you know? I thought something weird would happen if that wasn't pressed, but it turns out something weird happens if it is. The exact opposite of what I expected happened. That's pretty crazy. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, I got some Ds on this board. I know D is basically equal to two at this point. Okay. Um, and this B is equal to three, in fact, so it needs two mines. I know this D needs one here. So this will have one on it already, so it can't have zero. Well, obviously it couldn't have zero anyway, but it's only allowed to have one more is the point. And this B needs two more. So it needs one here. Oh, so literally like mine is safe. Okay, now A, what is A? Well, it can't be zero. Oh, oh, that's cute. Yeah, okay, all right. 
So basically, if this wasn't marked, but this A is not allowed to have zero, so it would have to have a mine next to it. But then like, oh, if it has a mine next to it, the A equals one needs to be marked. So like rip that. So basically the A equals one has to be marked no matter what. Um, okay. But I'm pretty sure we saw a situation like that last time in like one of the six by six boards or something. All right. Uh, this A, oh, it cannot have two, three, or four. So either all of these are mines or none of them are. Now this D here says that, oh, but if all of them are mines, this D now has four, or three mines around it. And the most it could have would be four, but four is not allowed, neither is three. So it needs to have exactly two mines next to it, which means all four of these being mines results in a contradiction and therefore none of these are mines and therefore that is a mine. F has to have four next to it because it's already has three but it's not allowed to have three. So it needs to have four, all right. G, oh G is open season. There's just nothing in there. Um, okay. So this D needs another mine next to it. Exactly one more mine next to it specifically. And well, this G here. Okay, so if this happens, then those are both out. This G has three right now. It only has space for one more to have four, but both three and four are forbidden, and so that's not allowed. So you're out of here. E, what's going on with E? E could be either zero or five. Well, this does not have spaces, so there we go. And that means that. Okay. And, ah, we're done. Okay, this is going a lot faster than I expected. I may have learned something or I just got lucky. I think I just got lucky a couple times, but we'll see. 8x8 eight eight time, which should be even more complicated. Because now there are 8 letters and now 7 mines around something is allowed. Um, okay. So what are we looking at here? Is there anything? Okay, this E row. But there are no E's! Come on, dude! That Come on. But like, look at this, they're all, like the only thing that E is allowed to be is one, and it might not even be allowed to be that. <laughs> but basically, if we ever find an E on the board, we'll know, it has to have one mine next to it. All right. I mean, like, that's technically not a contradiction because there are no E's on the board, right? Like, E having no options on the number of mines next to it doesn't matter if there aren't any E's to gener generate that contradiction, right? I think so. Uh, okay, D kind of appears a lot on this board, right? There are like four of them, but there's only two things that D can't be, neither two nor four. Well, this has four spaces next to it, so that's kind of interesting. This one has three, this one has five, and this one has four. But this C is a complete superset of that D. But C is like open season. All right. Um, well, it can't have just one. So if this D is zero, eh, that's not a problem. Okay. Oh, hello, this B. Look at that. It is like right on the column with B in it. <laughs> so that's something. Um, if B is not equal to one, it obviously can't have zero mines around it. Because if it did, then this would have to be a mine. But then that's a mine around this. So that means B equals two is... Wait, no, because it could be 4. But even if it is 4, this B equals 2 is marked. Basically what I'm saying is, if this isn't marked, this B could have at most 3, but it's not allowed to have 1 or 2, and it's also not allowed to have 3. But, like, if it has 0, like, it can't physically have 0, because if it had 0, then the 0 would have to be marked, and that would be a mine next to it. So, like, that's just a contradiction, right? So this B equals 2 must be marked if the B equals one is not, that is. Now, what does this mean? This means this D has at least one mine next to it. And so does this G, and okay. Uh, wait, this G only has two spaces and it's either a zero or one. So one of these two has to be marked, depending on which one of those. Now, is it possible? So actually, I want to say, like, what if this isn't? Then G equals zero is the only option for this G. And then it has nothing around it. And now, 
D is, is, this D is now in the same position. It has only two spaces, but it can only be a zero or a one because these are all marked out. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so, for example, then in this case, if this is a mine, this D now has one next to it. It can't have two or three, so it has to only have one. That would kill these, but now the D equals one isn't marked when there is a D that has one next to it. So that means these are both safe. Because this would cause the same problem, right? That's a mine next to this D forcing another mine with the D equals one, yeah. Okay. Now A, it could be zero could also be two which I know one of these two has to be marked so and this a can't have just one but these could both be marked so that doesn't actually mean that f equals zero needs to be marked ah but look at this one two three four one through four and f are marked as impossible which well, I know at least one of these has to be. So f equals zero is also not possible. This can't be zero. So this f has to have five mines next to it out of these seven squares, which unfortunately I don't think really gives me anything quite yet. Oh, but the point is a equals two must be marked because this a has to have at least one. It can't have three or one, so it has to have two. Yes, okay. And now that this is the case, if the b equals one is marked, then it would force the b equals two to also be marked. So I think in this case, basically, if that's not marked, then the b has to have four next to it and be like that. Now this d, wait, where's d? Oh, here, it has two next to it. Ah, but it can't have three it can't have two or three, but those are its only options right now. So that makes a contradiction here. So that means the B equals two is marked. Now I suppose it's possible. Okay, wait, this D has two right now. Oh, but it can't have three. Yeah, um, it can't have three. And it can't have two, and it also can't have four. So that's a contradiction. So this must be a mine. <laughs> I got very little from that, but I got something at least. All right. Okay, so maybe this is going to be an interesting thing to do, all right? Uh, I guess it's technically possible that like, oh, this could also be, and then that has to be marked as well. And now D can't be three, it's either zero or one. So one of these two has to be marked, but, oh, and that causes this problem again, which now it, is it gonna cause the same issue as before? I think so. Uh, hold on. Uh, what is going on here? Let me think about this. Okay, at least one of these has to be marked. The F, therefore, cannot be zero, and therefore it must be five. If it is five, then, like, most of these need to be marked. But I think the, it was something about this B. What's going on with the B? Oh, no, no, the A. The A has to have two, because one of these has to be marked, and it can't have exactly one, so it has to have two. So the A equals two has to be marked. That's right. Okay. Now, if the A equals two is marked, the B equals two has to be marked as well, right? Or, because if not, then this B would have to have four, and this would happen. But now this D has two, and it can't have three. Yes. Okay. So that means the B equals two has to be marked, but now this D has two again, and it can't have three or four, so it's still out. So that means under these circumstances, if that isn't a mine, this is. But now this D has one around it, 
It cannot have two, three, or four. Therefore, it cannot have any of these. However, since it has one next to it, it needs to have the d equals one marked, and that is a contradiction, and therefore this is a mine. Okay. And since g is equal to one, that means that is safe. Okay. Now d equals three here, and this d has one next to it, but if that one is the only one next to it, then the d equals one must also be pressed, and therefore this d has two more mines in these three spots. And specifically, this a, We'll now have at least two mines next to it, and, oh, yeah, one of these two has to be marked because of this D right here. It's either zero or one, because it can't have two. Um, all right, but the A can't have three, so uh, there's a potential for it to have four, though, which, all right. A is equal two or four, so basically this D cannot have zero around it. Yeah. It can't have zero around it. It could potentially have one, theoretically. Okay, here's an idea. Let's say this d equals one was not marked. Then this d would be zero, and that would do this, right? Okay, so then these two would be mines. The A has three, so it would need four, which means A equals four must be marked. And now this D does not have zero, so it has to have three. And that means um, I need two more mines around this D. In particular, this G now has at least three, but it can't have three or four, so it must have at least five, which means at least two of those three have to be mines, which doesn't actually get me anything else, unfortunately. Uh, this D has three, that D has zero, yeah, we're good on that front. Um, okay. Now, this A has one. Oh, it needs another one. Oh, so this A has to, A equals two has to be marked just because of this A right here. Okay, and that means one of these two is, and that means, well, okay. Uh, so that means in this case, this D has two right now. It needs a third one, it's one of those. Okay, but that also means this B has at least two next to it, right? Uh, so I can maybe try this. Then the B would have to have four. This would happen. Um, D can't have two, so it would need to have three here. This G now has three. The F can be three, four. Okay. Right. Oh, in fact, the F needs to be 5 or 6 in this case, because it already has 2 next to it. And so I know with absolute certainty that at least one of those is a mine. And I know two of these three are mines. Um, So like for example, if this, then we have that, right? And also this, and then that. And now this D, the G already has four. So if I mark, oh no, D has to be zero. So actually these are both gone. And that means this, yeah, okay. Oh, what about this A? No. Really, I don't think. Oh yeah, this gets filled in, that's gone. This D needs two more now, okay. Let's see, okay. But this A must be two, so this is gone. This C now has three, so that has to be marked. This is out then, because this G has to, wait, no, the G could have six. Uh, wait a minute, this G has one right now, and it can't have three, so these are out. G equals five, and so this is gone. The C has three, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so this definitely works. Um, wait, this F has two right now, so it needs at least five, which, okay, that's fine. 
this a is 0, 2, or 4. Obviously can't be 0, because then the f wouldn't be able to have 5. But, okay, no, I mean, this seems... Seems like the end of the road for this deduction. All right, otherwise, we have d plus 1. So only one of these two is allowed. Um, okay, this d is allowed to have 1. So this g is allowed to have 3. Uh, the d is already like this. Um, okay, uh, is this actually a dead end? So this f has 3 right now. Oh, yeah, okay, so it needs at least two more. Um, hmm. Okay, what about this A? Oh, it's allowed to be zero. Yeah, I guess just start throwing stuff there. So if that's not a mine, then these both are, and then that is, and therefore that's not. And now this D needs three. No, it doesn't. It can have one. C can't be two, though. It has one already. It can't be one either. So the C needs to have three, which means the A needs to have two here, but that's fine. In particular, though, this needs to be true. Because it can't have 4, because I would put 3 on the A, and the A can't have 3. So that makes the G at least 4. This one here. Um, I need another one here, but A can't have 3, so it needs that as well. This G is stuck with only one? No, it's not. Hmm. All right, I guess I'll... I don't want to use two, yeah, but it doesn't... Okay. It doesn't matter. I don't know which of these two, because D could have one. Oh, wait, if both of these... You can't have one but not the other. So actually it means this. Okay, cool. Yeah. And you have to have at least one because the C needs two out of these three. Yeah. Or more specifically, the A needs two out of those three. Because it can't have zero because the C is not allowed to have one or two. Yes, okay. Yeah. C needs at least two more, the A needs at most two more. So they need exactly two more, right? because they share space. Okay. Yeah, there's all sorts of possibilities for all of this, because, yeah. Okay. This all matches, those all match. Okay. Now this. I guess I'm going to start by looking into that possibility. This now happens. Okay, this happens because, yeah. Um, this G has at least four. Could have more. Well, I know, okay. D is allowed to have one. But C isn't. So this C will need another one near it, in addition to one of these two. But D is not allowed to have exactly two. So you could have this, 
but A is not allowed to have 1 either. In particular, hold up. I know exactly one of these two isn't mine. Because this A needs to have 2. Because it can't have 1 and it already has 1. This A cannot have exactly 1. But this C has 1 right now and needs at least one more. So that will give this A one in its zone, but then this A will need another one, giving this C a third one. So this C will actually have exactly three, therefore making the chain okay. And also, since this D has one, but the C needs two, that will force this as well. That pattern seems to be kind of occurring. But I think in this case it doesn't really... Oh no, the F has 5 right now. And it has to have exactly 5. So that is still like this. Okay. That pattern is very much recurring. Alright. I before assumed that this was not a mine, right? I've already gone through that assumption, haven't I? Okay, so anyway, I can get rid of these. So now if I assume this is a mine, force is this. Now F could be 5 or 6, so let's say this, then that is, well actually it just forces that, doesn't get rid of, okay, better yet, assume this, then that forces this, and then this will still be here, but that will be there as well, and I think by the same kind of stuff, this D has two right, yeah, it needs a third, so that just, yeah, that just sort of happens. I think, like, pretty much regardless. Yeah, okay. Uh, and that means C equals 3 is marked. Okay, there we go. Yeah, all that assumption work I did actually ended up being worthless. So that's interesting. I got an A here and a C here. All right, so let's say this isn't a mine. Then both of these are. This A has three, it needs a fourth, so there we go. This D cannot have one, nor can it have two. That's a contradiction already. Awesome. That means exactly one of these two is, and that means this A has two, so that's gone. Okay. And now, all right. Wait, this D has two right? Oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Um, C. The new information I got was this A. And that's it, right? <laughs> like, that's actually all I got. Okay, um, so let's say this. If D's not allowed to be zero, then that has to be a mine. Oh, and the G already has two, so it kind of needs to have four around it now, or, you know, more than three. Uh, that means this A is two, so this is gone. I need to be assuming different things. Because there's two save scores that I'm after. Um, this GS2, so it needs 
two more mines at least. Okay, so it could be like that, potentially. Yeah. I don't know, let's just assume this. Then we have this situation, right? D needs to have three, so it'll be like that. This G has four right now. Okay. Why am I assuming it? Ugh. All right, let's assume this. Then that will need to happen. A will have to be equal to four. I'll need one more of my Ds. G will have to be, okay. The D is allowed to be zero, so that's something. Oh. But if I conclude that this is safe, that concludes that's a mine, which means I can't conclude that. Hmm. There you go, what about this? That makes B equal to four. <laughs> I think it just does. Um, yeah, no, I've seen things that like that already. What does this see? It's either three, okay. Oh, at least one of these has to be a mine. Oh, G can't be three. Yeah, that's all it was. Okay, F. Okay, cool. That means this. All right, D, F, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, that means the C is probably, oh, no. Um, oh, the A, yeah, obviously. Okay. And then, oh, that's allowed to be zero now. Uh, but this G has, okay. Um, this D needs at least one more. G can only be five, so yeah, it means that. And now that C can't be two, yes, okay. This F has two already, so it needs to have, oh, at least five, but it could have six. Now put four on the B, this A has two already. This F, what is this F doing? It has three right now? Okay. Um, what if this V doesn't have four? Then it has exactly two. These are all gone. Now this F has at most four, which is a contradiction. So yes, all right. This B has to have four around it now. Well, uh, it could still have two around it if this is marked and none of these are. Um, Oh, this D has one right now, so it can't have the other. Oh, because G equals five had to be marked because this G had five mines around it. Oh, yeah, that's right. So now this has to be four, and now that has to have a fifth one. And then that, yeah, okay. This board may have been cracked open. Yeah. Um, okay. The one missing is, oh, wait, hold on. This F can have either five or six. So it has to have six, but okay. So if that's not it, then, well, everything else on the board would have to be, but then a, okay, so that's a mine. And F only is allowed to have six, so actually we're, yeah, all right. Okay, if I manage to do an 8x8 eight eight in this episode, I might actually get through the rest of self-referential by next time, which would be nice. Uh, a can't be zero, but it could be one or two. This B is allowed to be zero. 
g is either zero or one it cannot be two or three so but i know from this oh if both <laughs> okay but a can't be three the c it could be zero or two ah uh, there's got to be something with that and this A is mm, F, uh, it could be zero. No, this F cannot be zero, because if it were, that would make the A zero, but the A is not allowed to be zero. So that means this F has to have at least one nine next to it, which means it actually needs two. Uh, that's not helpful. Dang. Uh, okay, these Fs, no. Uh, hmm. There's got to be something around this area, right? So let's say that isn't a mine. Then, ah, uh, okay. So, since G can't be two, if the A is equal to one, in particular, if this A has exactly one mine next to it, then it would also force exactly one mine next to B. They're probably putting two G, two mines on the G, thereby killing that. But A can't also can't have zero, so that means both of these are mines. So A equals two and B equals two are both marked. Therefore, C equals two is marked and B equals three is open. Okay. I mean, there's definitely things I don't see here. Um, Okay, otherwise. Now, if this A has one mine next to it and the B has two, so C equals two is gonna be marked no matter what, right? Because if the A has one and the B has two, that puts a mine on the C, it can't have one mine, so it has to have two. If A is equal to two, which is the other option, if this A has two mines next to it, then B equals three, that's two minus next to the C, therefore C equals two is marked. So no matter what, C equals two is marked. And that just is always the case, okay? This A already has one next to it. This C will need a second one next to it, but it could be one of those. Okay. I mean, it's probably somewhere else that something is happening. I'm not so sure I can really get, because like, yeah, okay, you could have both of those be mines, and then that wouldn't be, and then you'd have both of these or whatever, but. I mean, all right, if the G equals zero isn't marked, that means the G equals one is, A has one next to it, B has two next to it, those are both marked. These are not allowed because this G has to only have one. This A now has two next to it and it cannot have three, four, or five. It has five spaces right now, so it already has two, so that actually kills all of these and marks A equals two as a thing. Oh, that's interesting. 
this C now needs a second line. Okay, it's just going to be one of those. Oh, this is an interesting idea. If g equals 1 isn't marked, then g equals 0 would be marked. But then a equals 1 is marked. Okay, so that's actually a contradiction. So, like, there you go. And now if this isn't 1, that forces both of those and that, right? Yeah, okay. But if it is 1, yeah, that would still force that, right? Because now the b would have... Wait a minute. If it is 1, this b has 3, so that's a thing? Oh, but it also forces this, but that would kill that? Wait, hold on, how... How is this a contradiction? A equals, it has to... Wait, what? I totally... What? I totally messed that up. Why is this a contradiction? This G has to have, wait, no, that doesn't even, it doesn't even have to have one, yeah, what? Maybe the F? Something with the F? No. Or this would kill all three of these, so F, oh, it can't be zero. It has two next to it right now, but it can't, it would have to be four. Okay. That would mean this as well. Oh, but this F can't have four. So that's what it is. The fact that it kills F equals two and F equals three, it causes that to be a contradiction thereby. Okay. That was kind of complicated. Um, but now that tells me something. Cause like this F is now like a thing. Um, in this circumstance, C must be 2. Oh, but A can't be... If this is a second one for A, that would actually kill all of these. And that would cause the F to need to have 4. Right, but this... Yeah. Wait. No, 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 because this F could just have one. And in fact, yeah, this A will just have one, which will be the one that the F has, which means that happens. Hold on. The E has two, which is fine. These Fs both have, wait, this one only has three. Oh! Oh, this is the one that causes the problem. And in fact, that means this, and therefore that. But this F still, okay. In particular, one of these two has to be marked. So this A is going to have to have at least two around it. And therefore, this C is also going to have to have at least two around it. But this A can only have one more, which means the C needs another one down here. In fact, it can only have exactly one down here. So, any H's on the board? No, of course not. Okay. 
Yeah, we're kind of over time here, and this is, I guess... I've gotten something, at least. Okay. Oh, I've already completed one 8x8. Yeah, okay. So I only have to do, like, one and three quarters of 8x8s for next time. If I can pull that off, then I'll have done it. All right. So that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. Void out.